What's interesting about The Fresh Prince is, you know, you look at Will Smith now, and he's, you know, a mega movie star and so forth. Yeah. But at the time, I don't think he had any other acting gigs, right? He was Fresh Prince the rapper. Right, right. He was. The, he, he was he, parents, parents just, just don't I understand. I was just gonna say that he was parents just don't understand. He, yeah, he <laughs> was. Uh, I think I could beat Mike Tyson. Right, it, you right. You know, it was it was kind of sort of poppy. Hip hop. I mean, I think he had won the first hip hop, you know, rap Grammy. Yeah. But like, you know, he was really a very lighthearted yeah. rapper type. Right. You know, so w when when I originally saw the Fresh Prince, I'm like, what's this rapper doing acting? Like, I, I didn't I didn't get it initially. Yeah. No, but, I had the same but, attitude. <laughs> well, but I guess Quincy Jones got it. Like, I mean, because I guess Will was sort of like the, the driving force behind the show of how he kind of brought it to the networks and so forth. Yeah. Um, I think he was, a, yeah. I mean, I, I know Benny Medina, it was based on Benny Medina's life. So right. it, was, it was Benny too, a lot of that. And um, I, I had the same attitude, I think. You know, I knew him from parents just don't understand and all this stuff. And I knew, and I was like, it's a... You know, a rapper doing a TV show? What? Yeah, I was just like, what? You know, and then, you know, you, you quickly catch on to how charming he is, you know, um, but you, it, you don't realize that it's, you have, I mean, nobody could have called it, I don't think. I mean, somebody probably called it, but I couldn't have called that he was going to become this, this huge, you know, this huge thing that he is now. <laughs> you know, this yeah. Will Smith so you guys, you know, you get cast for the role, you know, you, you meet all the other characters on the show. You guys start working on it. Did you think you had something special on your hands or did you think, okay, this might last a season and I'll have to go back and look for another job? Well, when we started, we had incredible chemistry from day one. I mean, we liked each other a lot from day one. And then I think we also, I, it's easier for me to recognize now how good the chemistry was. I didn't have a lot of experience to call upon to say, wow, this, is, this isn't like anything else. Because I hadn't done that much. And I certainly hadn't done anything, uh, you know, that lasted over a long period of time. When I first did it, though, we shot the pilot and everyone was real excited about it. And I went back to work. And um, Will and a bunch of, bunch of guys used to come to my outside of my work like on Sundays when I'd be right before we'd open I had to do book work and stuff like that sitting at the bar doing book work and they would come to the window and knock and laugh at me and just thought I always thought it was the funniest thing that I went back to my hostessing job <laughs> you know but I didn't know what was going to happen you know so I went back to work you know when we got picked okay. up of course you know then it was like I'm out of here but <laughs> So, so the role of Hillary, how much of that was, you know, written by the writers versus, okay, I'm going to inject my own personality into this. And I'm, you know, even though you wrote this, I think this is going to sound better. It was, the, I mean, the writers wrote it. The writers wrote, they, when they first developed, I mean, the actors always in, will influence a character that's ongoing. I think those writers have, they start writing to, to a person. You know, they, they envision this person when they write and the new writers come on and they only know this person. So they write to the person like, you know, Alfonso as Carlton was a huge example of that because in the very beginning of Fresh Prince, if you watch them, it's really unclear what Carlton's thing is. And um, he really started to make that character, he started to define that character very clearly himself. And then the writers had to follow that, you know, and that, that worked really well for me. Uh, when I was auditioning, when they, 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 when they, what they said they wanted uh, in the breakdown was, um, I think she was a model type. I think she was like a model type thing. And I, I remember when I first was called in for the part, my, I, I said, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm not, you know, I'm not a model type. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I had to make it my own. And. I think by giving her these huge affectations and things that weren't written, that wasn't scripted, this kind of attitude and, you know, the whole like, Ugh, daddy, you know, that's that stuff. That was stuff that I kind of brought to it that made the lines work and the character work for me. And then I'm sure as it went on, that 
they as they were writing, to, we were you know working together in that way. But the I mean all the light, the lines, the zingers and stuff that Hillary had, I didn't come up with those. I did the, I had the delivery, but they wrote those lines. <laughs> gotcha. Now now with Alfonso and, and the Carlton character. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he do a Michael Jackson Pepsi commercial? Yes, look that up. It's great. It's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> right. So he was, I guess, he was, he did like a moonwalk. He walk, moonwalks like, and, and he bumps into Michael Jackson and right. Yeah. And this was when Michael Jackson was at his absolute height. This was a thriller, Michael Jackson. This, this is, wasn't like later this is on. Pepsi. When, you know. This is Pepsi. You know. This is Pepsi. This is Pepsi. Pepsi thriller, Michael Jackson. Yes. So Alfonso got the biggest look any actor could possibly get. Yeah. Pretty much at that point. Yeah. And, and then he went on to do Fresh Prince. I'm, I'm not quite sure what he did in between that. He did Silver some, Spoons. Some, some he did that TV show Silver Spoons with Ricky Schroeder. Oh, right. He okay. was on that. And then he did some, he did some of uh, Different World. And um, so he came to us right from doing some part. Uh, I think he had like a, a recurring role or something, I think, on Different World. And then he came to Fresh Prince. Right. Yeah. Now, the first time you saw the Carlton dance, what did you think? Oh, well, it was just, you know, it was silly. It was very silly. And, you know, it was just very Alfonso uh, goofy, you know. The odd part is that that seems to be the thing that I think has lived on the most from that show, the Carlton dance. I think short of the theme song. I think the theme song and the Carlton dance are, yeah, are the two things that have really had their own life. It's true, isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, people, like, if you do it right now and the show's been off the air for so long, yeah. there's people that haven't been born, we know when the yeah. show was on the air. Everyone knows it. But you know what's funny? And when I see it, because I, I see people try, you know, doing it, whatever. But if I look back at an episode and I see Alfonso doing it, it's, it's the joy, the joy. It's Carlton's joy doing that dance is what made that dance happen. That's what made it like really uh, funny and affect people, I think. He's so stupid when he does that dance. He's so, so goofy and funny. Um, and that he like, he really sold that dance. It's cute though, because you know where he got it? I mean, I think it was a combination of things, but I know part of where he got it was, remember um, Courtney Cox in the Bruce Springsteen video before, before Friends? Did you ever see it? I think I know what you're talking he about. He pulls yeah. her out of the audience and she comes up and dances with him on stage. <laughs> and Alfonso kind of went, he kind of okay. did this. <laughs> so, so it's a 15 year old white girl dance pretty much. If you see, watch that video, pull that video up and you're gonna go, oh, I get it. At the height of Fresh Prince, you guys were getting 15 million viewers. 15 million Is that true? viewers. And you guys did 140 episodes. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> how, how does that feel when you look at that? It's 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 weird to hear those numbers because I'll tell you, doing it, and I'm not kidding. It it felt like we did it in front of a live audience, but that it was like between two to three hundred people, two hundred people maybe, so two to three in it, live audience. Um, but it just felt like it was just us and those folks there. A lot of energy, very, really fun. But I didn't feel like, you know, oh, millions of people are watching the show. And when I walked out in the street, my life was not like millions of people are watching me on TV. It wasn't, they, it wasn't like that. Um, I remember Will said to us once early on, he said, because he had already experienced huge fame with DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, right? So he said, first thing you're going to find is you can't go to the mall. And we kind of went, ah, ha, ha. We kind of laughed it off. And I kept going to the mall. <laughs> and I didn't have a problem. And because uh, we were not that huge a deal. We really weren't for a long time. It wasn't until we went into syndication that all of a sudden things started to change. And we had been, that took three years before we were in syndication. And, um, and I swear, once the show went off is when I really felt it. 
after six years and we were off the air, all of a sudden I started feeling eyes on me and stuff like that. But before, I, it happened so rarely before. It was weird. So it didn't feel like all these numbers that you're saying, you know. And I was having fun. Work was not hard. It was, it was such a joy to go to work every day and laugh, yeah. you know. Well, I had heard that after season four, it was supposed to end, but the fans had an uproar over an ending. I don't know. It extended. I didn't know anything about that. I, what my, my, I never heard anything about that. My experience was after the, in the fifth season, I think it was around the end, like around December or something, is my memory, I might be wrong, but I was in the fifth season that Will pulled the cast and the crew aside and he told us, because he was always going upstairs in, in meetings all the time, you know. Um, and he came down, he'd had a big meeting, and he said, um, we're gonna finish this year, fifth season, we're gonna do one more year, and then we're gonna be done. And he told everybody in advance, because he wanted everyone to have a chance, like he told the crew in advance, because he wanted everybody to have a chance to get another gig. You don't have plenty of time. So that's how I knew it. And it was nice, because I knew other people who had been on shows where they found out in the paper, you know, the, the morning paper that they were canceled. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a, that sucks. I mean, that's, that's no way to do it. 